Welcome to the second of our Holy Week services following Jesus to Good Friday and the Cross. I am Barbara Donaldson, lay worship leader for the benefits of Scremiston, Spittle and Tweedmouth. We have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's Holy Word, to pray for the needs of the world and to seek the forgiveness of our sins that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we may give ourselves to the service of God. Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sin sins in penitence and faith. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoings and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Bible reading is taken from John chapter 12, beginning to read at verse 1 to 8. After Jesus' visit to the temple, he now leaves Jerusalem and goes to Bethany to stay with Mary and Martha and their brother Lazarus. Jesus had visited them many times before. They were all great friends. As we heard Reverend Linda on Sunday, one time Mary and Martha sent for Jesus to come as Lazarus was ill and dying. Jesus arrived too late, as the sisters had feared, and Lazarus was buried. But Jesus called Lazarus out from the tomb, and he rose again. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Another occasion, Jesus was teaching Mary, and Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet. Martha, however, was distracted and busy preparing the meal. Sometimes Martha put a lot of pressure on herself because she really wanted to get things right. She was getting very upset and cross because Mary wasn't helping. So Martha goes to Jesus, ready to explode, and says, Didn't he care that she, Mary wasn't helping? Jesus responds calmly and sees the root of her problem. So Jesus said, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good part, which will not be taken away from her. On the occasion we are looking at today, we find Mary doing a lovely thing. She took a pound of very expensive oil, spikenard and anointed Jesus' feet and then dried them with her hair. The whole room was filled with a perfume. One person in the room didn't like this at all, Judas Iscariot, the treasurer keeper of the money. He told Mary, the oil could have been sold and money given to the poor. Judas, of course, wasn't thinking about having the money for, for the poor. He was thinking about having it for himself because he was a thief. But we will hear more about him later in the week. But Jesus says, Let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not have with you always. So for our reflection today, we need to examine ourselves and say, Are we too busy to spend time with God? Do we rush around busying ourselves like Martha? doing lots of things for God. Oh, which one are you, Mary or Martha? A song of Christ the servant. Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in turn. When he suffered, he did not threaten, 
but he trusted himself to God who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The Lord's Prayer Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. A prayer for the coronavirus outbreak. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience for all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Collect for Holy Week. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.